Hello everyone, my name is Alvin Williams and I'm the owner of eBuilding Concepts, LLC, located here in Tampa, Florida. And what you're about to see is a short video on me taking a Revit model and ultimately it winding up inside of the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset. And keep in mind what you're going to see on the screen as you view this ultimately is a video capturing of what a person sees inside of the headset. You're going to see on your screen a, a two replicated images of what a person sees inside of these two lenses located here in the headset. And that is in no way uh, a representation of what a person that actually has the goggles on what it's like for them to see those images they're they're truly immersed in in the model as if like they're standing inside of it and they they don't see the the two or the split screen effect that you would see seeing the uh looking at it on your monitor so um and if i can generate enough interest um <clears throat> as to how uh, me going further in depth of how to do this then of course I will do some more videos, but uh, be sure to like the video and uh, show your interest in the technology. Um, we here at eBuilding Concept truly believe that this is the wave of the future. Um, again, um, as, as a designer, a Revit designer, uh, I truly feel that again, the customers ultimately, unless they have extensive years of background uh, practicing reading blueprints, um, they should not have to see their designs in the the traditional way of looking at blueprints. They should be able to look at it as if it's going to ultimately be in the, the, the way it's going to ultimately look in the real world, and that is in 3D, the way we view things now. So um, <clears throat> keep in mind, again, um, this is the wave of the future, and I'm happy to bring it to you. Enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Alvin Williams of eBuilding Concepts LLC here in Tampa, Florida. And I'm just gonna do a real quick um, summary of what it's like to do a Revit model and then basically the, the importing of the various other programs that's necessary in order to get it over into Oculus. So as you can see here, I basically started out with a um, the basic sketch up of of how I want wanted a particular model model to uh, eventually look like. This this came out to be uh, 34 34 home um, development um, with a uh, infield of a uh, rec center and a daycare and a, a play or baseball play field and along here would be like a office office complex <clears throat> so this this came from a, a basically a paper sketch um, and then basically i took it into revit and just did a quick sketch of the total outline of the property and from there, basically uh, converting all the lines that were drawn uh, into uh, basically into a 3D model. And basically fast forward many, many of hours of uh, converting it into a model turning the lines into actual 3D components. This is what I ended up with. So let me turn off one of the features here that'll enable me to actually spin this around and look at it without using so much of the computer's power. But as you can see there, it turns off the, a little bit of the realism. And you have 
basically a, a vivid color uh, generically rendered uh, image of, of the property. So next I'll be taking this from Revit into another program called 3ds Max or 3D Studio Max, which is uh, also another uh, Autodesk product. So stay tuned for that. Okay, welcome back everyone. Again, this is Alvin Williams with eBuilding Concepts LLC here in Tampa, Florida. And I have now taken the Revit model and imported it into a program called 3ds Max. And in here, uh, basically what's necessary in here is to convert the materials that uh, Revit uses into, um, into materials that the final program that, that the model is gonna be imported into, which is Unity 3D, a gaming engine. Um, it basically converts the materials from Revit into something that Unity understands and recognizes. So um, that's the most I'm going to do in here. Uh, there are a lot of other things you can do in here that will uh, better the textures and, and the look of things. But, um, but just for the sake of the video here, I'm just going to uh, just basically show you the end result and... Um, this is what it what it basically looks like uh, taking it from Revit into 3ds Max. Uh, I'm sorry here, got the wrong window open. Yeah, okay, let's try this again. There we go. So as you can see here, as I spin this around, it still looks a little generically. Or generic e or whatever if that even is a word but um but anyway you get the idea so I'll see you in the next program Okay, welcome back everyone. This is Alvin Williams again with eBuilding Concepts LLC here in Tampa, Florida. And we now have that same model from 3ds Max now imported into Unity, Unity 5 actually, um, which is again a 3D uh, or I should say a gaming engine. And in here, um, um, you know, as you can see here, it looks uh, looks similar to how it did in Revit. It really would be nice if uh, Revit or Unity could somehow work out a plugin to where you can go directly from Revit into Unity, but. Um, as of now, I don't know of any, but um, that would really be nice. So again, um, this is what it looks like as you're uh, as you're designing and uh, importing uh, items and things into the into the model. So. Next step is to actually see what it looks like um, viewing it in in the Oculus Oculus Rift goggles. So so I'll see you there. Okay, welcome back everyone, and I'm now. Uh, viewing the model inside of Oculus. So, as usual, the health and safety warning 
screen pops up first and I'm, I've just connected my Xbox controller and I'm now walking around in the model We're walking down the, if you remember how the, the layout of the property, the property looked, it was basically um, two pond areas over on this side of the property, along with, uh, with a field of uh, solar, solar panels. We'll now enter that that same enter that property and kind of look around and so with the goggles you get you get a true sense of size and scale basically how you know the perception of how far things are how tall they are um, how wide they are so almost as if like you're standing um, standing in the in the actual in the real world looking at this although it still looks a little cartoonish um, but that's getting better um, with the with the new version of goggles that that plan to come out towards the uh, uh, the beginning of next year but as for right now um, there there's nothing else like uh, you cannot recreate what it's like looking at at your model um, from a Revit standpoint um, from a 3d Revit standpoint you cannot recreate what it's like looking inside these goggles and getting a true sense of scale of how big things are and how far apart they are looking up at the sky um, Revit um, just doesn't or, or any 3d model program for that matter doesn't replicate that uh, Give you that true sense of scale as if like you're looking at things in the real world. So um, This is this is truly revolutionary as far as I'm concerned um, of How to look at look at things that are designed in a 3d 3d modeling aspect This is just truly amazing to me. So anything that can be created uh, in a 3D modeling program, I don't care if, the, if you were to design buildings that literally were floating in the air, you could do it in this program. Or you can see what it would be like looking at homes that are floating in the air. So if that, if that is what you wanna ultimately have. But um, pretty amazing. From from 3D Revit um, into Unity, and then into ultimately into the Oculus Rift. So, imagine again your a new way of designing and going back and forth and 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 analyzing just how big and how tall you want something to be designed in relations to the to its uh, surroundings this is the future no doubt so again my name is alvin williams uh, the owner of e-building concepts here in tampa florida and thank you for watching and i'll see you later